So next I want to talk about searching through arrays for finding values. Now there are several ways that you can search through an array to find out if there's something inside of it. And these methods, they're very similar, related, but they all have something unique about them. If you want to find out just yes or no, whether or not something is inside of an array, or if you want to find out what position something is in an array, or if you want to look at each of the values inside the array and then determine something special about that array, not just whether or not it exists, but look a little more deeply at it. There's a couple of methods that we can use for that. So let's look at these. We've got array.includes, index of, sum, and find. Now, includes and index of. We're going to call these methods. We're just going to pass them a single thing, like this is the value that we're looking for with both of them. There is an optional parameter to say starting at this position, so that's the from index. I can start at the third element in the array and find out if something exists. The difference between these two is that includes returns a boolean, whereas index of returns the number, the position, the index of that object inside the array. Now if it's not found, includes is going to return false. If it's not found, index of will return negative 1. The other two methods, sum and find, both of them use a callback function to loop through. The callback function gets called once for every element in the array. And again, the difference between the two of them is that sum will return a boolean, yes or no, and find will return the actual value that was found from the array that met whatever criteria you wanted to set up. So let's do a couple of quick examples here just to illustrate the differences between these methods. In my first one, I'm going to use array includes. So the situation is I want to find out, yes or no, whether or not something is inside the array. I have this array of names, and I want to find out if the name Todd exists. So let bool equal names dot includes, and then I pass in what I'm looking for. In this case, Todd. And let's create my shortcut here. write log instead of console.log. There we are. Now I'm going to run this code. True. So Todd is inside there. That was a quick and easy way. So now I'm going to look for the name Steve. Run this. False. So Todd was in the array, but nowhere inside here do we see Steve. That's the first one. Now with index of, next one, we would use that if we wanted to know what position inside the array. So I'll we'll say let pos equal names.index of where in the array is Gus. I'll write that out. Run this again. Three. Zero, one, two, three. Right here. There's Gus in at index three if I wanted to find Tuco. Now Tuco is not in this array. Run this, negative one. So that's what you get when it's not found inside the array. Simple enough. Moving on to another situation. Find out whether or not anybody in the list, not just looking for a name, but I want to know things about the individual elements in the array. So in this case, we're going to say, I want to know whether or not anything in the list has a capital letter M. Okay, so names, and we'll use sum for this first example. And I don't have to use sum as the variable name, I'm just doing that out of simplicity's sake. So my function, or I can use an array function, so the individual name, and then there is an alternate property right here. We can add from index afterwards. So if I wanted to start after a certain position or starting where Gus was, this would be the index 3. So I could put 3 inside here and then it would start at this point and go on. I'm just going to search through the whole thing. And I want to know if anybody in this has a capital M. So we do have Marie. So this should give us a true. 
How do we find out? Well, we're going to return. We want to get, um, well, here, let's do the basic calculation first. We're going to say that name dot index of m. Now, index of, with the string method index of, this is case sensitive. So we're searching only for capital M's. Now, if this gives us back something that's not negative 1, it means it was found. Just like this index of method returns negative 1 when things aren't found. So we can say that if this was greater than negative 1, it means that there was a number greater than negative 1. So that's 0 and higher. If you get a number 0 or higher, it means it was found inside there. We could just say equals 0, meaning it's the first letter, but let's say it could be anywhere inside that string. Now if that happens, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we return false. Now I can write return false, or I can just leave the function without this line, because functions, when they're run, if you don't explicitly return something, they return undefined. Undefined is one of those falsy values. So even without this line, undefined will be returned, and that will make this false. So this is going to run once. This function will run once for each of these elements. And what it's going to do is it's going to say false, 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 true. And then these ones don't need to run. We just need to know whether or not there was at least one true value. So if this ever returns true, that's what gets put into here. If we get to the very end and true was never put in, false is the value that we're going to see. So we'll save that, and then we will log out the value of sum. Now we should get true coming back here. There it is. True, because Marie was there. Now if I say, I want to know if the capital letter R. We don't have anybody yet, so nobody starts with a capital letter R. We run this. False. So we were able to go through and look at each one of the elements in the array and find something about it. It wasn't just the fact this element exists, which is what we did with includes. Here we're just saying, here's the whole value. Did you find it somewhere in the array? Yes or no? Here we're saying, all right, let's look at each of the pieces and figure out how many letters are inside the name. Does it include something? and so on. Does it match another variable that we've passed in? Okay, and the final example, find the first name in the list that is more than five characters. Okay, so we'll use this final one, the array.find method. We want to get the value back, so we're going to get the actual name coming back from the array, where the length of the string that we're looking at is greater than five. Okay, so find equals names.find. Again, it has a callback function. So name, there we are, and we're going to console.log find when we're done, or just log because we created the shortcut, may as well use it. Inside of here, we're going to look at the string name. So name.length, if that is greater than 5. name, otherwise we're returning undefined. Okay, so we'll run that one, and there we are. So this was false, and Walter was the first name inside of here. There it is. This was greater than five. It's six characters long. The next one is Skylar. This only finds me the very first match, but we do have that extra optional parameter, so I can say all right, we'll start at number two, which is Saul. Starting there, where is the next, if there is one? Oh, did I say that? Actually, sorry, that's not correct. The from index was for these first two methods. These ones, it's the this argument. So we can pass in an alternate source. 
what do I want to use as the context? What do I want to use as the this object inside of this function? So this is not going to serve any purpose for us. All find is going to do, just like sum is going to do, is it's going to find the first match inside the array. So we have here four different ways, depending on what it is that you're trying to get back. Includes, just you give it one value and you say, does this thing exist? Yes or no, inside the array. Index of, what position does this thing exist inside the array? It'll give you back the number or negative one. Sum runs a callback function once for each element inside the array, and it will return a Boolean to say that, yes or no, this thing does meet some condition. So we were looking to see things that started with the capital letter M or things that started with the capital letter R, and we got a, a yes or no back for that. And then the final one is we get back the actual object from the array. So we were searching through this for something that was five characters. We got back Walter because that was the first match. If we change this to say we're looking for something that is greater than six characters long, what we get back is undefined. It was not found inside of our list. So that's how you can search through all these different things. I'll put this code sample as a code gist in the comments that you can look at. If you have any questions, please leave them in below. And as always, thanks for watching.